Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about tantric sex and vital sex. And the topic for this video is what is the best time for sex or for tantric sex? Remember that we are here talking about sexual mastery. The idea is to bring more juice, to free your energy and to be able to activate the highest level of pleasure, emotional freedom, activation, spiritual bliss through using uh, sexual energy and having the right timing, synchronizing with your partner in ways that are really harmonious and satisfying you both is really important. So what is the best time in the day? Is there a natural rhythm that you can tune into and, and that is going to give you the highest level of uh, satisfaction, optimization and success with your sexual exchange? So the first thing to understand is that every time is good for sex. The things that I'm going to say here are not given fixed rules it's just some general guidelines and ideas that you can play with but eventually you know <laughs> anytime is good for sex you can really go for it so let's check one after the other the mornings um the mornings are great because you are rested you have uh you're in a space where you don't have your mind too much cluttered with other stuff already going on and the best mornings are of course in the weekend Saturday or Sunday when you don't have to go to work if these are your free days if your life is in free flow and you don't have to work then obviously you are you have lots of space to engage into morning sex and that's a very powerful thing to do um, if you want to activate the sexual energy you can go and grab take some pieces of fruit you know some bananas oranges papaya and um, mango you cut that in small pieces and you you bring that to your lover in the morning i noticed that sharing a little bit of fruit in the morning will really activate a sensual bliss uh you know a touch of energy that is going to uh to bring fresh juice into your love making in the morning so the mornings are are great uh afternoons also work work really well um very often in the afternoons i i, I hear about you know lots of people lots of my friends and people in my circle who actually enjoy a lot having sex in the afternoons for whatever reason that's the rhythm that matches them really well and then of course you have the evenings the evenings when the night comes down when there is a sunset you're on the beach and there is this vibration of uh, you know end of the day the romantic juices are kicking in really really strong and uh, when the night comes and you put some candles around some incense some light music and you really can create a secret space without distractions uh, in my opinion that's the most powerful time for tantric sex and uh, but that's just me okay there are other people who will be more comfortable with engaging into uh, sexual activation other times of, of the day um, also when the evening comes you know for instance if you have a, a tantric sex session between 6 and 10 in the evening you might engage into uh, soft practices for an hour or two you know share some some food have some form of of uh, nice activation and then the, the the core of the sexual practice might be more around seven eight to nine or, or ten i would say by ten o'clock very often you will start feeling like maybe it's time to uh, to rest it's possible or eventually keep on going for uh, later and uh, the rest of the night as well one of the core mistakes that I would say people do with uh, people make with uh, with sex and sexual activity is to engage into sex way too late at night after you come back from from a party it's like you had this this nice event and you keep sex for the last bit of the evening once you did everything else and um, in my experience it can be much more productive to actually make sex a priority rather than going and partying from 6 to 10 you go and, and uh, create a very sacred protected space to engage sexually with your lover or partner and uh, if you do that you will notice that there is a, a concentration of energy there is a presence there is a conscience that engages and uh, instead of being at 11 12 o'clock when you are falling asleep and then suddenly the passion kicks in and then you engage your last resource of the day into a passionate uh, fiery love making i mean it is very exciting as well but if you want to engage into a more conscious tantric sex practice then um, earlier in the evening is uh, might be a better choice um something to keep in mind something else to keep in mind 
is that spontaneity is beautiful. You don't have to fix things too much. You know, if you wake up in the morning and say, well, that's not the usual time to have sex and you have half an hour before taking off to work, that might be the best time for the day. It might be the moment where an opportunity and a window opens up. So be spontaneous, be flexible, don't rigidify too much things. But if you have to schedule a kind of uh, tantric sex practice structure, keep those ideas in mind. And especially check with your partner and also with your own uh, preferences. For instance, for me, what works really well is morning sex, uh, when you wake up in the weekends and uh, in the evenings, any, any evening in, in the week. Um, six to ten usually that's that's the best time and very often I will engage into sexual exchanges later at night because uh, we simply come back from from events and uh, you know anywhere between 10 12 and uh, that works really well and uh, but check with uh, with your partner because different people have different preferences and it's important that everyone is satisfied if you have a different um, preference than your partner and your partner preference for instance in the afternoon and you prefer in the morning then alternating is really good rather than you know letting go of uh, your own preference try to check and see one day you practice in the morning and another day in the afternoon another day in the evening so keep it flexible keep it open and have fun with that